Trace IH Steiger and New Holland T9, 500 and 600 series axles. Now this video is gonna cover the process for all of our axles. I just happen to be working on these today. So it's what I'm gonna cover. So for us to sell a used axle off of a Steiger tractor or a T9 or a quad track or a road track, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna check the outer seals for leakage. If we don't have a leak there, that tells us that we don't have an immediate problem because that's why your seals are leaking. Second thing we're gonna do is pull an oil sample. Now we pull an oil sample on the hydraulic system. So if we get a clean oil sample back, that means there's no contaminants in the system. So really there's no need to worry about a bearing failure, immediate bearing failure or uh, clutch fibers or any of those pieces because that's what we just checked. If you think about buying a used tractor and you did these three things, no one would ever say, well, why don't we go ahead and just rebuild those axles? Think about that. Now, because you have a failure, you're concerned about it and you should be, you don't need to buy the same problem. But my main point is that there's just times when you don't, you don't have to have a quote reman part. Now we have both, so you know, we'll let you choose, but trying to get you over the hump of, hey, I just had a used one fail. Why would I buy another used one? Well, that's what we're trying to tell you. We're checking the things that our case dealer tells us to check so that we're not sending them good axles just to check. We want to send those guys axles that we have problems with so they can do the repairs. So if we have a axle seal leaking, that tells us that we have some sort of bearing issue, preload, bearing, whatever. There's a problem going on inside there. If we have contamination, it may not even be bearing. It could be a... Uh, it could be diff lock clutches. It could be brake clutches. It could be a lot of things. But either way, we have contamination. We got to go in and figure out what's up with it. So when we send it to them, they're going to pull the final drives off or the trumpets. Check the rolling drag. Find out where the problem is. And go in and fix it. So the you have to pull the planetary out to press out the axle shaft to get the bearings off. So the planetary is checked. Those are prone to have a spline wear on the inside. So if that's all good, they're gonna put new bearings on the axle shaft. They're gonna put new needle bearings and washers inside the planetary carrier. And then they'll go to the other side and do the exact same thing. Then when it comes to the differential, Going to pull the brake pack out, disassemble it, put it back together with all new wear parts. Going to pull the differential out, check it, because they're prone to have uh, thrust washer issues. So replace anything that needs to be replaced in there. Set it all back up with new bearings. Uh, check the other side retainer. Press the bearings off the pinion shaft, set up the preload and the backlash. And the final check, once they assemble everything, is that they do a pressure check on the, if it has diff lock, they'll do a engage, disengage. And on the brake, they'll do a 290 pound PSI for 10 minutes. And as long as that holds, that tells them that the brake's good. So that's the two options that we offer. And a lot of that's based on availability. If we have a good used axle, we don't send them to just get new bearings and seals put in them. Now, if it's something where we only had that and you just insisted that you had to have one with it, 
then we would, you know, sure we can accommodate you, but you're looking at, you know, the downtime to do that or the extended time to do that. Another thing is that we don't always paint. And the reason we don't always paint is that we get back to, again, telling you what we've done to the axle. Paint can mask. Uh, some people see that as a negative. So if unless there's, unless there's fire or, or there's some reason that we just feel like we have to paint, we can get more mechanical stuff done than we can by painting. So that's why we don't paint everything. And if you do this repair in your shop, you're not going to paint the axle. If your dealer does repair in their shop, they're not going to paint the axle. So, you know, this, the whole, quote, reman industry uh, is going to paint probably because they feel like they have to. And it's just not something that we do. So this is the same process for 300 series, 400 series, 425 series, 450 series, and 500 and 600 plus the quad track plus the road track so if we can help you out we hope that this video has maybe helped by doing some descriptive uh work to tell you how we do that sometimes these are those are hard things to write without using the word <laughs> without using the word reman because reman if you think about the word reman really it's because it doesn't describe what's done the process it's your interpretation so disassembled cleaned inspected replace the bearings and seals reassemble do a final check of the brake pack and of the diff lock. Palletize. It's ready to go. That's what we do.